Okay, in my previous video, I showed you how to receive ADS-B aircraft transponder signals using this SDR software defined radio USB dongle. And today I'm going to show you how to make a really, really cheap and really good antenna that can pick up ADSB signals. So the key thing to, to note is ADSB signals are transmitted in 1090 megahertz. So it's really easy to construct one of these. Take a copper, a strip of copper um, wire, enameled copper wire. It doesn't really matter what the diameter is, but the main thing you want to make note of is, is that the, the measurements from this tip to that tip up there needs to be as close as possible to 137 millimeters because that's the correct length to catch 1090 megahertz uh, radio waves and then just solder it to a coaxial uh, cable in this case I've just soldered it to this TV antenna lead which is uh, which has a IEC male plug I then use this uh, IEC female to female converter so that I can hook it up to this IEC uh, well, male plug and this is just a normal TV antenna uh, lead and then obviously on this end I, I'll need to convert it from IEC uh, male to so this is a female uh, IEC connector to MCX male so that can be used with the dongle now this antenna costs next to nothing to build but I'd like to show you its amazing performance so let's go ahead and hook that bit up there oops okay that bit is stuck away behind the curtain by the way I just used tape to uh, tape the uh, antenna and uh, the connector to the window pane itself just so that it holds the weight of the antenna up uh, right so let's connect that there and I'm going to run RTL 1090 so I'm going to start my RTL 1090 and already you can see that all these are lit up basically the the higher I'm not sure what unit this is in um, I'll find out but basically this shows you the signal strength um, so this one lights up all the way to uh, 120 and sometimes 180 and above which is really great and uh, as we can see it's already picked up so many aircraft Although I'm right under the flight path from Heathrow, but still this is a, a this is a really remarkable performance. Now I'm going to start plane plotter, and you can see how fast the aircraft have been plotted. That one there is really far away, so this is where I'm located, somewhere near Heathrow. That one is near Southampton. Earlier on, I, I uh, picked up some aircraft at Canterbury, and even further out than that. It's now 8.40 at night, so the airspace is starting to get a bit quieter. But this is a really good distance for such a, DI, uh, such a uh, low cost DIY antenna. I actually took a screenshot of plane plotter earlier. And that's what it was able to pick up with the same antenna. That's close to Peterborough. That's on the uh, east coast. And that's way down off the shore of, of Brighton. So if we leave this running a little longer. It should continue to pick up more and more aircraft. The fact that it's not picking up aircraft doesn't mean the antenna isn't performing well. It, it could just mean that 
there aren't any aircraft flying in that area that that's transmitting but this is the best performing antenna that I've had alright thanks for watching